To thread this John Lewis machine, you can take your reel of thread and start by putting it on the spool at the back, which in this case is a kind of plastic stick that sticks up at the back towards the right hand side of the machine. And then taking your thread, you first want to hook it under this metal hook here. And these ones actually have arrows and numbers on which can help with threading. So there's a one and an arrow showing the direction that you need to pull the thread. So you get it under the hook, so it's like that. Bring it down, this kind of groove in the machine. And then there's a number two down here with a kind of a U-shaped arrow, which you can follow, tucking the thread back up. And you can use the wheel on the right-hand side of the machine to bring up this take-up lever here. So the wheel, you'll see, as you turn it towards you, the lever will come up, and you just want it to be up as you're pulling the thread behind it and tucking it into the, the circle cut out in the lever. Once it's in there and still running nice and smoothly, you can bring it back down. There's a number four here that shows the uh, an arrow pointing downwards. You can follow that. And then tuck the thread behind one of the hooks that's just above the needle, which you might not be able to see from that angle but there's just a little hook above the needle and then you can maybe have to trim off a little bit of excess of the thread there and thread the needle from front to back and once that's all in the thread should still be running quite smoothly when you pull it and then you know it's threaded up correctly. The next bit is to thread up the bobbin. So you can take your plastic bobbin, which is filled with thread, and you're putting that into the metal casing. So looking at it this way. You want the bobbin to be turning in an anti-clockwise direction. So you can pull on the loose bit of yarn there, and you can see that it's going anti-clockwise. And then you're putting that into the bobbin casing so that it's still running anti-clockwise. With the loose bit of thread, you want to take it through the slit in the side of the bobbin, which you should be able to see there, and then tuck it under the metal plate that's there so that it comes out by the two teeth and then it should pull quite smoothly like that. Then with the bobbin in its metal casing, you can click it into the machine so that this side is facing you. And there should be quite a big click as you get the bobbin in. You want to make sure the uh, kind of oh, the hook is um, poking up in that direction as you put it in, and there's a spacing in the machine for that to click into and there should be quite a big click when it clicks in and then using the same wheel on the right hand side of the machine you want to bring the needle down so that the top thread is catching the bobbin thread and you might need to just put some tension on that top thread pulling it a little bit up so that the bobbin thread comes out and then you can just grab that with your fingers or maybe like the end of your scissors to just pull that through. So you've got two threads just sitting on top. You can close up the front of the machine and there might be another pit here that you can put on to help when you're sewing. And that is it.